Hi, this is Andy Filippiak in Toronto for the week of September the 27th. Well, financial markets continue to get more and more volatile. Earlier this week, we saw a very large sell-off in the uh, U.S. equity markets highlighted by the tech sector. Now, the, the number one reason given is the Fed's meeting last week where they indicated they will likely be tapering, meaning ending their QE of bond buying sooner than expected. And now interest rates are expected to start rising uh, next fall. So the market has been building that in. And what we've seen is interest rates rising. We've seen the 10-year bond go up from about 1.25 to 1.55 in a very short period of time. And this has markets very, very jittery. With interest rates rising, it, it, it puts tremendous pressure on an economy that's already very highly levered. But this isn't the only problem for markets currently. The US equity or US economy and the global economy appear to both be weakening a lot faster than expected. You couple that with the credit crisis in China where they're desperately trying to solve the Evergrande bankruptcy and deal with all of the fallout from a $300 billion debted, indebted company. And to, uh, to make matters worse, we've got the, the Democratic Party trying to come out with a five to six a trillion dollar uh, budget spending package, which will put us up into the high 20s, again, of 27, 28% of GDP. So uh, I'm not sure if people are aware or if the politicians are aware that this will require a tremendous amount of additional money printing from the Fed. Uh, otherwise, where's the money gonna come from? So if the Democrats can get that through, it just means more and more uh, money printing as far as the eye can see, but that's no given given the problems in Washington. So stand back and watch and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.